What if I told you that there's an AI tool out there that can help you create customized reading passages for your students with a quiz, vocab words, and even an audio version of that passage available? Let me show you how you can use the tool at Cafe AI to create this reading activity for your classroom to test your students' reading comprehension. The first step to get access to EdCafe AI is to go to the website edcafe.ai to create your free account. Once you are logged in, we can click on create new and begin creating our reading activity. So to create this reading activity, you can add in any topic that you would like, put in some vocab words, that way you can generate a passage based on those vocab words, or paste in a text that you might already have. Otherwise, you could also check out the link up above for some ready-made reading activity ideas. For our example today, we are going to do why leaves change color in the fall. Once you have that in, you can add in your additional instructions. These additional instructions can be as specific as you would like relating to your students. That way you're getting the right kind of passage that's fitting for your classroom. So for our additional instructions today, we wanna to make sure that we align with the Common Core ELA standards for our fifth grade students. In addition, we want to explain the concept using something that the students have observed. So like how fruit changes color or their favorite parks look a little bit different in the fall. From there, you can also add in your student level from up above down here. And then of course you can change your output language. So if you want your passage to be in a different language, go ahead and select that here. Then we can generate our reading activity. So EdCafe AI will generate a passage based on that topic or those vocab words or that text that you pasted in along with those additional instructions. You'll see that we have some bolded words throughout our passage to represent some of the vocab that is mixed in. If you scroll down all the way, you see that you now have the options to add separate vocab. That way students can review these vocab words after they're done reading the passage. So we can take a look at these vocab words once they're all done generating here. Excellent, so we have 10 words that students can review, and then we can also add in our passage quiz and even in audio. Let's first go ahead and add in our quiz. So when you're adding your quiz, you can choose if you want multiple choice, short answer, or a mix of those questions. I'm gonna stick with multiple choice for now and we can generate our quiz based on this passage. This is really great because once it's done generating and we have it saved, we can share it with our students. They can read the passage and take the quiz. That way we can truly understand how their reading comprehension is going. So you guys can review these questions and it is all editable. So you're free to edit the questions, your answer choices, along with this explanation that students will receive once they complete the quiz and get their feedback. However, you also have the option to add additional questions. So these can be done with AI or even with a blank question here. So let's go ahead and add in a short answer question. And I have one here that we can add in. So what happens to chlorophyll when the temperatures drop? Students can submit that. And for the suggested answer, I can use AI to help me generate it too. So once I press tab here, it will suggest an answer that students could use to see how they did um, when they get that feedback. Okay, so now that we have some questions in, let's go ahead and add in our audio. This is really great for students that, you know, prefer to listen rather to read, or if you have other language learners in your classroom, you can also adjust this and have this be a multilingual speaker or have it in that correct accent. So depending on what language you chose at the beginning, so I chose English, so these are all English voices, so we can select one you'll get um, a little preview of that voice and then we can generate that audio and it will put that audio right at the top of the passage so that students have that option to read or to listen. So again, if you want true reading comprehension, you don't have to include this audio, but this will be here and you can always adjust the speed and change it if needed. So everything looks good, let's go ahead and save it. And we can save it in our EdCafe AI library. So you can type in a file name or use AI to generate a quick name for you and then save it in a folder in your EdCafe AI library. From here, let's go ahead and create a new one here for our fifth grade students. And I'll save it in our library. That way, all of this material is easily accessible for the next time that I need it. 
Now, let me walk you through how we can share this with our students. That way we get the results on how they did and their reading comprehension levels. So from here, we can click on the assign button. With the assign button, you'll see all the different ways that you can share it with students. So you can copy this link. You can even embed it in your LMS or directly assign it to them within Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. For today, I'll just copy this link and we'll open it up in a new tab here. So that way you guys can see what the students would see. So when the students open it up, they can see the reading passage, the audio here, and that reading passage that they can read through, those vocab words, and once they get to the bottom, they can begin that quiz. So students can type in their name here and play that quiz. So you'll be able to still see that passage on the side, um, so that way students can reference that passage while they're taking the quiz. So let's select a few here type in our short answer. It is important to note that students do need to su submit something for all of those questions, and then they can submit their answers. From here, they'll get a quick feedback on their quiz, and they'll be able to see those explanations, even if they got that question right or if they got it wrong. And then lastly, one really cool thing about Ad Cafe as well is students will get some AI feedback for those short answer questions. So they can see that suggested answer, but then the AI will analyze their question and provide them feedback based on that suggested answer as well. So now that the students have taken the quiz, let's go ahead and review their work. So back on your teacher side, we can exit out of that assign and you'll be able to see this responses icon. If we click into this, we're able to view all of our students' results. So from here, you can see that this questions tab is a review, an overview of all of your students. So you can scroll through and see all of the questions and how your students did there. So if you see, oh, only one person got this one correct, I wonder which student that is, you can go ahead and click on that option here so that way you can more easily analyze your question results and how your students are doing without having to go individual by individual which is what you can do in this participants tab so here you can click on any of your students and go through and scroll through their results as well and you'll also be able to see that mcq score um, because we do have that short answer question um, the ai won't grade that one that one is more for your review but you will be able to see that percentage score here and lastly, you can download a report of all of your student results as well as a CSV file. That way you have access to this, you can save it onto your device or upload it into an LMS for grades and have it for your own review and analytics later. Teachers are loving this reading comprehension activity inside of EdCafe AI because it saves them time by generating some interactive and engaging materials for their students. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any ClassPoint, EdCafe, or EdTech tips and AI tips for your classroom.